Bro Villa Transform. What is it? Basically, it's a way to sort and group data so that similar letters are grouped together so that it's easier to compress the data. For example, the word banana. After Bolo Bureau Transform, you will get M N B A A A. Because the three A's are grouped together, it's now much easier to compress them. So it's important to note that BWA itself does not perform any compression. It only pre-process the data for easy compression by other algorithms. How does it work? Three simple steps. First, you keep moving the last letter to the front to create a table. For example, the word banana. You move the last letter A to the front to make A, B, A, N, A, N. And you repeat this again, move the N to the front, and then move the A to the front, and repeat until the first letter is at the last position. There you have it. And then the second step is you sort the ta table, starting from the left column. First, you start A, 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 B, N, N. If the A on the first column are the same, then you compare the second column, B come first, before N, the third column, and fourth column, so on and so forth. Then you have the sorted table. So the third step is to take the last column. The last column here is your Bolovira transform output. In this case, you have turned banana into MNBAAA. -A -A. Now, there's one little thing I want you to remember is that uh, you notice that the original word banana is at row number four. Right? We have to remember this. The original word is at row number four. So, what is the advantage of it? Now, let's just say, it, what if we do a regular sort? A regular sort will turn the word banana into something like A A A B N N. Well, we indeed have grouped similar letters together. But the problem with this is that with just the information, um, with just the output without any information, it is impossible. It's impossible for you to uh, retrieve the original words. You can sort them, but you can never retrieve the original word without additional um, overhead or additional information such as indexes. But if you add those additional information that, like indexes, it contradicts the original purpose of compressing the data. Now BWT is different. The beauty of it is that you can reverse, you can reverse the order, you can get back the original word by just remembering the row number. So you can achieve both. Right, you can also you can group the same letters together and at the same time retrieve the original word. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, five steps. First is that you sort the output. This is the output of BWT. You sort them, become A A A B N N. And then the second step is to add an output column at the front. B N N B A A A is the output of Boolean transform. You add this to the a sorted column that I show you on step one. There you have uh, two columns. Then you sort the combined columns alphabetically. You sort this into this A B A N A N B A N A N A. Now after sorting, the fourth step is to keep repeating step two and step three. Now you have two columns from step two, and I repeat that. You add one more column that consists of output of BWT, you have three columns, you sort them, and you repeat them again, sort, add, sort, add, sort, add, sort, until, until the length of the row is the same as the length of the column. Basically, banana has six letters. You, you, you keep doing this adding and sorting until the length and the column have the same number as the length of the word. So six, six in this example. And there you have it. Remember just now I asked you to remember uh, row number four. The original word is hiding at row number four. So essentially what it does is that regular sorting, you, there's no way for you 
to remember or to get back the original word. With PWT, after you do the transformation, you remember the row number, which row number contains the original word. With just that information, you can easily retrieve back the original word and it also allows you to compress, to prepare the data for compression. Thank you.